Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use the repeat formula and repeat the letter G inside quotation marks this number of times and enter and then double click to send it down. Then change the formula to the Webdings font, which is a picture based font where the letter G is a black square. And when you put lots of black squares side by side, it looks like a bar chart. Now I'll select all of this and centerize the bars and then change the color to orange. Now the G isn't the only symbol that this will work for. If I change this to a C, I end up with open squares. And then if I use a full stop, I get a checkered pattern, which looks like this. Then if I change this to the letter L and change the font to the Wingdings font, which is also another picture based font, I end up with lots of little circles. And then still in the Wingdings font, I can use the letter N to make lots of little squares, but this time they have gaps in between them. You can also get gaps in between these ones as well, just by adding in a space. Now, if you don't know what the letter is for the symbol that you want, you can just click in a blank cell and go to insert and symbols. Then change the font type to the Webdings font. And now you see all of the pictures that you can choose from. So if you're talking about population, for example, you could repeat the people. And to insert this picture, just double click on it. And then it will appear in the cell here. And if you're talking about finance, for example, you could have bags of money. And then the Wingdings font also has lots of other pictures. So I could use a star, for example. And then the Wingdings 2 font has lots of different shapes. And the Wingdings 3 font has lots of different types of arrows. And close that. And now to get these symbols inside the repeat formula, select the cell and press F2 to edit the cell. Then select the symbol that you want and copy it. And then go inside the repeat formula and paste it. And this will look different depending on what font you're using. So in the formula bar, it just looks like a space. And then here it looks like the number one. But if I change the font back to the Webdings font, I get the little people that I want. Then to show you that again, select the cell and press F2. Then select and copy the symbol that you want. Go inside the repeat formula and then paste it in and enter. And I'll change this to green to make it look a little bit more like money. Now it's also possible to copy the symbol and then paste it into its own cell. And then instead of having the symbol inside quotation marks in the repeat formula, you can just link to that cell and it will repeat the symbol. And this needs to be changed back to the Wingdings font to get these stars. And I will make them golden stars and then double click to send it down. Now, in addition to this, if you have the touch keyboard here, you can also insert different types of emojis. So for example, I can insert a smiley face and you'll see it appear here in Excel. And then you have lots of different options for the pictures that you can choose from. And if you scroll across, you see even more pictures. And then when I hit enter, you'll see the images change slightly. So that's something to bear in mind in Excel. 
they will look different to how they do on the keyboard. But these can be used in the same way. So just copy the image and then inside quotation marks, copy it into the repeat formula. And now this needs to be changed back to a normal font. And I get lots of smiley faces. And it's also possible to copy the symbol and paste it in its own cell and then link to that cell in the repeat formula. Now it's also possible to do this vertically. So if I make this row here bigger and then do equals repeat and repeat the letter L this number of times, then change the font to the Wingdings font and drag it across. I can then rotate the text upwards in order to get lots of circles stacked on top of each other. And then I'll centerize these and change the font color to red, change the fill color to a light gray. And then another option is to repeat lots of spaces in here and then drag this across and then go to the font settings and add a strike through effect and OK. And now there is a strike through through every single space. So the length of the line indicates the size of the number. Now I'll just remove that. And another option is to repeat a space this number of times minus one and then use the and symbol to add another symbol onto the end. For example, an L and drag this across. And now I have something which looks like a scatter plot. Now I can also change this here to a pipe symbol and then drag it all the way across and change the font back to a normal font and increase the font size until I have the lines going all of the way across the cell. And I'll add in borders. And then you end up with a chart that looks like this. Now another option is to put more than one symbol inside the repeat formula. So for example, I will do one, two, three, four dashes and then an X and repeat that this number of times divided by five and then enter. And now I have these numbers represented as multiples of five. So for example, here I have five, 10, 15, 20. And now this won't work unless your numbers are perfect multiples of five. If they're not, then you're going to need a formula which looks like this, which is a bit more complicated, but will get you the extra dashes on the other end of the last X. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you different ways of using symbols inside the repeat formula. And that is everything.